Welcome to ExoStem. I'm Dr. Jonathan Lakey, the Chief Scientific Officer. Here at ExoStem Biosciences, our dedicated team of academic scientists share a common goal, the elimination of type 1 diabetes. Although scientific advances over the past couple of decades have made type 1 diabetes a manageable disease, we are still far from providing a full therapeutic approach. The Edmonton Protocol was developed over 23 years ago, showing that islet transplantation could be a viable option for patients with type 1 diabetes. We successfully transplanted human pancreatic islets into patients achieving insulin independence and publishing our first results in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2000. Although the Edmonton Protocol showed the potential of islet transplantation to treat type 1 diabetes, it also revealed the limitations, which include the scarcity of human cadaveric donors and the need for lifelong immunosuppression. These limitations motivated me to pursue an islet transplantation therapy through my academic careers at the University of Alberta and the University of California, Irvine, that could benefit every type 1 diabetic patient. My name is Richard Johns. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Exostem Biosciences based in Vancouver, British Columbia. I remember vividly the time I received a phone call about ExoStem. I was retired. I was blissfully retired. But by the end of that conversation, I knew that I wanted to be part of the team to support the scientists in the battle against type 1 diabetes. I am Reza Mohammadi, Chief Scientific Advisor and Developer of ExoStem's encapsulation technology. The history of islet transplantation goes back more than half a century where hallmark papers discussed the islet transplantation in rodents and non-human primates. As a result of those uh, preclinical findings, scientists realized the need to protect islets from the host rejection and hypothesized that islets could be protected by a biocompatible shield that has small enough pores to allow diffusion of molecules and hormones. In the early 80s, islet encapsulation with biomaterials were first described, which demonstrated that encapsulation of islets improves transplant longevity. These attempts were then pursued in clinical trials in the late 90s and continued until the past decade. The body of knowledge generated from such trials indicated that although encapsulation could improve islet transplantation efficacy, we still have to overcome other barriers to achieve a long-term therapeutic transplant. We developed a strategy to overcome those obstacles, which showed promising preclinical outcomes in diabetic animals that are now attempting to take it to the clinical trials. During the device design, we really wanted to learn from patients themselves that what would be an ideal transplant device in terms of shape and size from their perspective. Our survey from around 500 diabetic patients revealed a significant preference for encapsulated islets in microcapsules, making it the chosen therapy by diabetics for diabetics in our set survey. This feedback further drives our team's motivation to achieve our mission. I'm Brad Eckenweiler, CEO of ExoStem Inc., the research and development subsidiary of ExoStem Biosciences Limited. In addition to the technology and advancements shared by Dr. Lakey and Dr. Mohammadi, I want to highlight another crucial aspect, the scalability and the affordability of our therapy. Our goal has been to develop a solution that can be made available to any type 1 patient at a reasonable cost performed as a less invasive one-time outpatient procedure. We have no limitations on our islet source, exosomes, and biomaterials making this an inclusive solution for a wide range of type 1 diabetic patients. ExoStem is a very lean organization, but we have a laser focus on our vision, which is to beat type 1 diabetes. Our core focus and motivation is driven by those diabetic patients. Thank you for visiting with us today. We appreciate the interest in our work here at ExoStem, Inc.